Hello, so do you enjoy taking photos on rainy or cloudy days? I know some photographers who will avoid these kinds of conditions because they're worried their photos are going to come out flat. But as you can see, I actually love shooting in these conditions because we get more saturated colors, rain can reflect light, and my favorite aspect, we get a lot of mood. So yes, flat images, they can happen, but with some know-how with the tools inside of Luminar Neo, we can fix these issues no problem. So let me show you how to do just that with some cloudy and rainy photos. So we're going to work with this image here. And as you can see, it does look a little bit flat. We've got a lot of haze as well going on in the mountains in the background. So the first thing I'm going to do is jump into the develop tool and down to smart contrast. Now this, instead of just applying a contrast across the image, it's going to read the image and apply it in areas that really need it. So the smart contrast here, it's going to bring a lot more definition into the background, into those mountains. And I'm also going to bring, as I do the shadows actually, bring down the shadows a touch and also the highlights so we can get more detail in the sky up there. And if I do a before and after, you can see that we've already got a dramatic difference going on with this photo. The next thing I'm going to do is go down to the relight tool. And I'm going to bring this in a lot so you can just tell what's going on. Um, we have a depth tool right here, and that's going to actually allow me to position where this light is occurring. So what I like to do is put it at its maximum so I can see clearly where this tool is being applied. And then I'm going to reduce it gradually until I get the desired effect that I want. So by reducing the brightness in that foreground, I'm allowing the eye to travel through the photo. And again, this is another way to create depth in your shot. The next thing I'm going to do is apply structure. Now structure is going to give me some clarity and details. We don't want to apply it too much, somewhere subtly enough to bring out a bit of brightness and, and sharpness in our image. And that's looking very good just there. And then finally, for the, in terms of adding depth to our image, I'm going to go down to the landscape tool right here. And inside of here, we have the dehaze tool. And that's going to give me more definition in those mountains in the background, as you can see. And I'm also going to boost the golden hour whilst I'm here, why not? It's one of my favorite tools. It reads all of the warmer tones in my image instead of just applying warmth globally to the whole shot. And also don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and actually let us know what you think of shooting on cloudy days. Are you a fan? Yes or no? Let us know in the comments. Now the final thing we're going to do then with this edit is the color treatment. So we'll start off using the color harmony tool and that's going to allow me first of all to get the tones just right in the overall temperature of the photo. Now the yellow trees, they're the standout feature of this shot and a way to draw attention to them is to contrast them with the tones going on around them. So using the color harmony tool still, I'm going to add cooler tones in the shadows and the mids and then warmer tones in the highlights and that's going to create that contrast for me. And then it's onto the color tool and this is where I can fine tune everything and ensure that it all looks nicely balanced, adjusting the hue, the saturation and luminance of those tones. Okay, next up we've got this shot here. As you can tell, very moody, a lot of fog going on and mist in the background and we're going to add even more with this shot. So what we're going to do with this is add some haze and mist. Before I do that, let's just quickly enhance this using the Enhance AI tool to save some time. Somewhere around there, that looks very good. And then we'll go down to the landscape tool, sorry, right here, and we're going to go to atmosphere. So here we've got a lot of different types of layers of fog and mist that we can use. I'm going to go with basic fog for this image and I'm going to just ramp this up so you can see exactly how it's applied. Now it looks pretty natural. We've got some issues going on around these trees and that's no problem. That's why this depth tool exists. I can bring this all the way up to the foreground or all the way into the background. All right, I'm going to do what I did in the last image. I'm going to add some color treatments and make this image look perfect. So I'm going to just speed through this bit, but pretty much the same as the last edit. Okay, now let's take a look at a before and after. And as you can see, the shot's gone through a dramatic difference. We've added more fog to enhance the mood and we've cooled down the tones as well. Next, let's move on to issues that can occur during rainy or cloudy days. Now, one of the first things we'll take a look at is raindrops. Now, raindrops can either hit your lens or they can be heavy and large enough, like in this shot just here, where they almost look like dust spots. Now, if that occurs, the dust spot one, which we've got here, we can hit the erase tool and just click remove dust spots. And what it will do is read the image and look for things that look like dust spots or are dust spots. And it will give us a natural 
clone of the area around it to completely replace them like they were never there. Now, if you actually get a raindrop falling on your lens, one way I would tackle this issue is by going over to the Gen Arrays tool inside of the catalog window. So select your image, go to the catalog window and find the Gen Arrays tool on the side here. And with this tool, it will use AI to make a more natural clone of the area around it and completely replace it so that the issue was never there. It's reading it and it's completely gone. It looks natural just like before. So give that a try if you ever run into that issue. So there we go. When the next rainy or cloudy day comes along, grab your camera and bring your photos over to Luminar Neo and try out these tips. Remember, you can dehaze your image with the landscape tool. You can add fog, mist or haze with the atmosphere tool and depth can be added with contrast and any distracting rain spots, they can be removed easily with the AI Erase tool. That's all from me for now. I will see you in the next one.